Hi, I'm Jennifer Chalky, plant disease diagnostician with DuPont Pioneer, and we're going to look at the differences between common and southern rust on corn. As the name suggests, common rust we see just about every year to a certain extent on corn leaves. One thing to look for is the presence of pustules. So common rust forms what we call these pustules on the leaf surface where it actually breaks through the epidermis and the spores you can see are kind of a rusty brown color on the surface of the leaf. One other thing to look for with common rust is that a lot of times we see those pustules also on the leaf underside. We can really see that evident here and even along the, the midrib a little bit on this, this plant. So by comparison, southern rust, the pustules, we see a lot of them on this leaf are quite a bit smaller. They're lighter in coloration and they're almost always on the upper leaf surface. If we flip this leaf over, we see a lot of yellow halos around those pustules from the southern rust fungus but we don't see the pustules bursting through the bottom surface of the leaf. Why is it important to know the difference between common and southern rust? Well, in the years that we do see southern rust, a lot of times it will start in the southern states and blow up on air currents, deposit onto the leaves, and when we have some plants that have uh, some susceptibility, we can see development of southern rust. It's a concern because it can spread quite rapidly and in some cases it may actually affect yield. So it's one thing you want to be aware of whether you've got southern versus common rust in your field. And if you're unsure, you can always submit a sample to a diagnostic lab for a laboratory confirmation.